and we're back. And you know, I can't put it off any longer. I feel like the further the show goes along, the closer I get to an in-studio personal trainer. And look, truth be told, I'm afraid of that. <laughs> but before we do that, we're going to spend a little bit of time with Suzanne Fowler. She is the author of, uh, of Lightway, which is a 12-week, well, I, I should say the author of the book, um, Lightway, One King. But she also founded the program Lightway, which is a 12-week faith-based weight loss program and we're going to talk about her journey which started in third grade and since then she says probably choosing to use every diet known to man and at one point in her life weighing 100 pounds more than she does today Suzanne Fowler how are you I'm great Nikki how are you Doing very well, doing very well. You know, we wanted to do a show. We're kind of wrapping up the first season of Miki. We're really excited about that. But we wanted to do a show that kind of got people ready for 2013. And uh, I came across your program and I thought, this is really interesting. And I saw all of the, the praise, different networks kind of pointing out how um, uh, beneficial this program is with lasting results. And I wanted to talk to you about it. Can you tell me why you decided to go down this path and, and write Lightway? I wrote Lightweight to solve my own problems with food. I, like you said, had tried everything. Um, and I felt like Jesus had to have the answer for me because the Bible tells us he does and he does. And the great grand and godly news is that he not only had the answer for me, he has been the answer for thousands and thousands of people in this area of trying to overcome temptation, whether it's food, alcohol, drugs, anything you can name, our program, by the grace of God, has helped people. When you talk about um, dieting and, and we talk about kind of the, the yo-yo diets, why is it that people, myself included, have looked at so many of them on these infomercials late at night and, and resolved to try it and ultimately it doesn't work? Why does it fail? It's a false balance. You know, we try because we're trying. We know we need to change. We know we've got a problem where we started to go to food for things that God wants us to go to Him for. It's called emotional eating. It's a natural human response. It used to be harder to do because food wasn't as plentiful as it is now. And so God wants us to go to him for what we're going to food for. And that's one of the things that Lightway One King teaches people. But, you know, we turn to those late night solutions because we're looking for a solution. But Jesus is the solution. When we talk about health and fitness, I think sometimes, Suzanne, the lines get really blurred. And so you have women who have all sorts of insecurities. And some of those things even translate to um, the way we think God feels about us. Um, so let me ask you this directly. In your opinion, and with the way that you've put this program together, your studies, uh, does God care about weight specifically? You know, the foundational premise of Lightway One King is that you are precious to God and it has nothing to do with what you weigh. And this has been transforming for people to realize he loves you so much, so immensely right now, where you are, everyone listening to this and losing weight is not going to make him love you more. He doesn't judge us that way, but God doesn't want us to be unhappy. He doesn't want us to be unhealthy and he doesn't want us to have feel out of control, to feel like something's controlling us in our life that we don't have control over. He wants to help us. And so people are like floored that God even cares about their eating. He does because eating affects a lot in our lives. So once we learn to redirect ourselves to him through what you're taught to do in Lightway One King, a transformation begins to take place. In your program, you talk about, among other things, um, peace with food. I explain that. What does that mean to, to make peace with food? To make peace with food, you know, we teach peace with God, peace with yourself, and peace with food. It, it kind of works in that. 
um, you know, way. And peace with food is where you learn to be like those people that we think we can never be like. They can be around candy. They can be around warm donuts. They can push their plate away in a restaurant before they've finished everything. You learn to enjoy food, but you have control over yourself and food no longer has control over you. And so in Lightway One King, we no longer have good or bad foods. You really learn to manage real food, but God has designed you, believe it or not, to desire healthy food in terms of green salads and a lot of the food, even pizza, if you eat it in moderation, it's not going to be unhealthy. So moderation is really the key and that's what all the studies ultimately come back to. So we teach portion control with a purpose. It really does also sound like a question of, of mastery and not being mastered by anything. Um, let me ask you this. How, how do people learn more about Lightway and maybe um, bring the program, the 12-week program, to their church or their community? Well, Lightway One King is designed as a Bible study. And so it's a DVD series along with Bible study, and it's designed to be done in small groups. There are no weigh-ins at our groups. So there's no fear of humiliation or being judged every week. You come together, you make friends, you do a Bible study, you watch the DVD, and then there are materials that people use throughout the week for the program. But you can find out more by going to Lightway, L-I-G-H-T-W-E-I-G-H dot com. And that will uh, give you information about the program and get you on your way to this transformation that God wants to work in every heart. It's so possible. I, I just want to encourage people not to feel hopeless because we have hope in Jesus Christ, and he has freed so many from overweight, overeating, drinking, alcohol addiction, things people thought they were prisoners, and they're not prisoners. The Lord has set them free. Suzanne Fowler, the founder of Lightway. Suzanne, thank you so much. Thank you, Miki. When we come back, if you think it's getting, um, getting heavy, if you're thinking we're maybe pushing some of your buttons as we're talking about mastering food and, and making peace with food, um, there will be more buttons pushed because we've got fitness expert and personal trainer Doella Thomas in studio. Don't go anywhere, like it or not. We'll be right back.